Hi, yeah, this is Kate from Daisy Nails, creating fun, funky, fabulous nails. Valentine's nails again. Got a few of these, not too many, but a few, just in the lead up to Valentine's. What would Valentine's be without very overpriced roses? Am I being a bit cynical about Valentine's Day? If you've seen some of my videos, you'll probably realise I'm being a bit cynical about it. Um, so I started it with a pink rubber base from Madame Glam. Just wanted to see what it looked like really because I haven't used it yet. It's quite pretty. Into the lamp. Go on Kate, into the lamp. Well done. Okay, so Nio Nails, the 0001. And I'm gonna do my first row. So I'm doing a little comma, a little sperm, a little red sperm. Sorry, <clears throat> a little comma. And another little one on the other side of it to create the center of the rose. There are different ways you can do roses. Um, another way is to do that sort of comma, but then pull that out from the other side so that it's got a wider bit in the middle and it thins out to each end. I said, you know, I like doing it that way. I like doing it this way as well. So you you just do it with the, the commas and you just build them up around it. I don't know if you can hear the rain. I'm sitting in the car, in the car park while the uh, eldest is at the youth group. Um, and it's raining, so it's making noise. If you can't hear it, you're probably wondering what on earth I'm on about. All right, so carrying on with these little commas, making them bigger as we go round, making sure they curl around. And try not to do them all in the same direction. Until you're happy. Don't keep going on forever though. Just, just until it, you know, looks kind of right. And pop it into the lamp. Then I did the same at the bottom. Little comma. And just bringing those commas round. Building it up. So tell me what plans you do have for Valentine's. My husband and I, we always get each other a card. We always have. And we, uh, he always signs his and I never sign mine. We've been together for 24 years. <clears throat> so, uh, We've never changed that ever. I always write I L Y. Hold on, let me think about this. I L Y T T S F O A T C S H. I think it is, and that stands for I'll love you till the desert sands freeze over and the camels come skating home. Something we used to do at school. Not with my husband. I didn't know him at school. But it is something we used to do at school about whichever pop star we fancied. What generation are you from and which uh, which stars did you have on your wall for me? It was Nick Hayward all the way. Most of you are probably saying, who? He was an English pop star in the early 80s. Right, so I'd finished my roses and I just felt there was a bit of a gap and I had my perfect white sitting there. Oh yes, perfect red, perfect black, perfect white. Um, so I just decided to do a little bit of filigree scrolling. I don't know what it is. What would you call that? Just to fill up the space, but not doing too much either. Without making it look too busy. Filling it out, <laughs> filling it out to make it look neat. And then I think this is the last little blobby bit on it. I suppose they're a bit like leaves, aren't they? and then into the lamp. 30 seconds, because it's Madame Glam. And then over that with the glossy top coat. And into the lamp. And there it is. I really like that one. I quite like the idea of a black rose as well. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Come and watch all my other videos. Thanks for watching, bye.